Hello, Shane McCusker here in Intelligent Software. Today I'm going to do a very short video to demonstrate a wonderful tool that I've been using for a while called Outwit Hub. Now, it's probably not for everybody, but for those of you who are like me, who like getting information from the internet, it's an absolutely invaluable tool to scrape information off the internet, like people's names or email addresses, usually lists of information. Now, it's really simple to use if you want to scrape email addresses because they've got a, sp a special filter for that. But I'm going to do something a little bit more advanced and demonstrate how to do a proper full scraper, which can scrape information from pretty well any site uh, and do interesting things with it. Okay, have a look at this. I'm on uh, uh, a web page, which is basically my Twitter followers. So I'm at twitter.com forward slash intelligence spelt with a one and then followers. And the premise here is that if I wanted to scrape information about the people that are following me on Twitter, this is how I could do it. Okay, I'll move over to Outwit. And here I am on a page, and I've already selected scrapers on the left-hand side. And in the upper area, we've got the pages already loaded. I can see at the top there, twitter.com forward slash intelligence followers. This bit here looks, this is HTML. This is what goes in behind a web page. This is what happens if you hit source. Now, let me just quickly go back to my page. I'm going to grab a little bit of this gentleman's bio. I'm going to hit Control C, which is copy. And then I'm going to move back over to my out, Outwit Hub. And I'm just going to search for that. There we go, student of the keyword. And it finds that piece of text within the body of the HTML. What I want to do is I want to get his full name and his uh, his Twitter handle and his bio. Now, all I do is I set up, so the first thing I want is say his full name. So I'm going to give it a, a title, full name. I'm going to get the bit of text that goes before his full name. So this bit, class equals, I'm going to do marker before. I'm going to look for the marker at the end, which is the, that bit. You can grab as much or as little as you want to, but you need to make sure it's unique. The next one down is his Twitter name. I'm going to grab the bit before. And the bit after. And then finally I want the bio. Scroll down here a little bit. And I get the bit before. And what it's basically going to do is it's going to go through the whole web page, finding these HTML tags and work on what's going on. Whenever I want that, I click on Execute. Do I want to save it? Yes. Give it a name. OK. And there we go. I've got all my Twitter followers, their Twitter name, and their bio. So, well, that was uh, just a little handy tip. I hope you liked that. Uh, let me know how you get on with it. If you like these videos, uh, there's a whole lot more on my blog page, which is intel-sw.com forward slash blog. We do tips and tricks for recruiters in the recruitment community. If you're interested in any of the software that I develop, I develop applicant tracking CRM software for recruitment agencies, give me a call, check out my LinkedIn profile, connect to me, uh, and I'll send you updates on what I'm up to. Look forward to hearing from you all. Talk soon. Bye.